Good morning, good day, good evening. Today's highlight was definitely going over to the Kodak Theatre, which is now called the Dolby Theatre, which is where they host the Academy Awards each year, and I've been doing that, I think it was from 2002. Um, actually got to see an Oscar up close in a little cabinet, which was really, really cool. Um, and it was really interesting getting a tour of the theatre done and stuff, because... There's no photography of the theatre, there's no pictures here, there or anywhere. It's a totally, it's the most exclusive um, event in Hollywood. Even if you're famous and people know who you are, you need your ID to get in there. Uh, George Clooney had a little mishap one year and he almost didn't get through because he forgot his ID, even though they know who he is. Um... So yeah, as part of the culture of Hollywood, it's one of the very, very important evenings. And um, it's very important for cinema as well because it, it recognises and gives recognition to people within the industry, not only actors and stars, but also um, all the other categories. I think there's about 24 categories now, so you've got director, producer, best film... Um, foreign film or any and all of the different sort of categories and that's why the live show goes for what three hours or so and why it's so long um, and it's such an exclusive group to be part of the academy or considered part of the academy um, to go and rate and watch the films um, if you choose to a lot of people say that some things sometimes it's rigged and this and that and it's we were told that it wasn't, <laughs> but you'd believe everything that you've been told. So you, there's always a kind of a margin of error or a margin of unknowing towards these sort of things. Um, our tour guide tried, tried to give us as much kind of inner detail to how the process and the system works. Um, and how it's actually changed kind of cinema and I think that's a quite an interesting sort of kind of prospect or aspect I guess you could say because uh, just upon thinking right then I've kind of gone hang on a minute like New York doesn't specifically have kind of um, an awards night or anything like that so really kind of Hollywood is the or LA is kind of the home of Hollywood and that's where all of the, the big things sort of happen with the walk of fame and stuff so within film studies and that um, it's more of a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more of a kind of a relevant or important place. Um, the theatre also currently had Cirque du Soleil in there. Um, it was very interesting to see how the seating in that worked. Um, and also gap fillers for chairs, because they are live, so if people leave, they have about 200 people on each, on the night as a gap filler, so if a person gets up in the TV break or ad break, a person goes in and sits down in their seat to replace them and the doors are locked during the show or while the show is live and then as the ad break comes on, doors are unlocked, of course people can't sit around and down for three hours, um, so they're allowed to get up and move, but if they don't make it back to their seat then they're locked out until the next ad break, so it was kind of an interesting sort of thing. Um, funnily enough, viewing it in Australia, it's kind of, it doesn't make sense, like the, like the, how large it is and how important it is, um, I mean, especially compared to what we had as like the AFI Awards, which has recently changed its name as well to be ACATOR, um, yeah, we we in Australia, it seems we don't put as much emphasis or kind of care into into those sort of things. We have the Logies, but <laughs> woo! But for for Australian film, um, there isn't that sort of recognition. Um, so it's kind of a bit hard to understand why they love it so much and that. But it was really cool to actually go and see and hear about how important it is and. Um, how it kind of it, it acknowledges everyone who's done or who's had success throughout the year um, so yeah it was a really good day bye